Today's hymn is entitled, Take Thou Our Minds, Dear Lord. As you know, the lyrics of most hymns are very closely linked to Scripture, and that's particularly true today. This piece was brought to our attention by Celie Lutz via an article that she wrote for the MPC WOW Group. Her research article detailed both the history of the hymn's composer and lyricist, but more importantly, the close connection between the lyrics and scripture. The story begins in 1918, when musician and Presbyterian minister Calvin W. Laufer was urged to compose an original hymn by the Emporia College group seeking a hymn that they could call their own. He quickly wrote music, but no lyrics appeared. Soon thereafter, a chance meeting occurred between Laufer and Presbyterian minister William H. Folks at the railway station in Stony Brook. Folks was so excited at the project that he wrote the first three verses on an envelope during his trip on train to New York City. Upon Folks' return to Stony Brook, Laufer so loved the lyrics written by Folks that these were printed and sung for the first time the very next day. In the upcoming presentation, we have captured Seeley's scriptural research and overlaid it throughout the song. We hope you enjoy the song, but more importantly, we hope that the scriptural references will allow you to more deeply capture the meaning and message. Thanks so much, Seeley, for all the detailed research. Thank you. 